What a year to be alive. One moment, it's winter break. You're on a mountain, planning on where you're gonna live, what you're gonna do. The next got you locked up in your bedroom. Cause some guy across the globe ate a bat. It's not how I planned it all out anyway. Yet, here we are. Dear Santa, I wish for a better new year. This one was bad. What are you doing here? The countdown has already started. Yeah, just, just give me a minute. The year's been crazy. I don't even remember how it all happened. Let me show you. It all started out as a regular year. A regular month. Week. A regular day, man. You're sitting there minding your own business with your girl and your friends on a mountain. When you hear the morning news, you know the news that doesn't really concern you, but then again hits you, breaks your heart. You know it's far away, but still, you head up to that TV to turn up the volume just a tiny bit more. So you're sure that it's not imaginary and that you haven't misheard it. You're never really ready for someone to leave. You just always think they'll be there forever. That's how legends live anyway. Mamba out. Eternally. Then you go on your phone and check other sources because it still sounds unbelievable. But it's true. And it starts from there. Afterwards, as the days go by, you hear about a whole continent across the globe burning up again, too far away. But you still get concerned to the point where you want to help. You just don't know how. Then you hear about the loss of Rocky Johnson out of nowhere. You ask yourself, what is going on? But you're left without a real response. While all this is going on, you're looking at your neighborhood thinking, it's all good. It was just a rough start. Suddenly, turns out some guy across the globe decided to have a bat for a snack instead of a regular Twinkie and wait to see how that all turns out. This place, province, called Wuhan in China goes into quarantine. They're the first ones. The news all over the world with this crazy virus. Oh, and you know that boot-shaped country in Europe, Italy, with all the good pizza and pasta and fashion design brands? Yeah, well, the pandemic breaks out there too. Everything followed by more bad news. This time, God taking Kirk Douglas away at the age of 103. Where you go depends on you and yourself only. If you choose to take a step forward, then good for you, good move, but from where I was standing, people were only going down and backwards. Soon it became a nightmare for all of us sports lovers out there. First up were hoops getting suspended and then later going into that bubble, followed by hockey, tennis on various tours, and then the Euro soccer being canceled. Then, by the end of the month, the biggest hit, the main event to be, the Olympic Games, got cancelled. We promised to keep that flame running, at least in our hearts, that we wouldn't give it up on this year, like the year started to give up on us. We had to fight this one all 12 rounds. By round four, the globe hit a million cases worldwide. 
The virus wasn't ready to give up, but neither were we. Had Easter come, we fought with what we fight best, unity and love. Amazing Andrea Bocelli uniting the planet straight from the very core, the heart. Listening to what is the angel's voice on that day, we began to hope again. But hope lasted just so short. Once more, we knocked ourselves down with another tragic event. This time, the toll was 22 deaths in Nova Scotia, Canada. Life is very relative. Sometimes you have the ups, sometimes the downs. It's never really a one-way street, but the direction we were choosing, man, we were almost midway at crossroads. The decision was ours, and we put the ride into reverse. Riding shotgun, it's like we never even had the choice. We just dealt with the music, and we chose a flat-out tragedy. One of the most impactful events changed all of our lives that month. We went down one of those roads you never want to go to. That was a dead end. And we had to pull back before it became too late. George Floyd, may you rest in peace. Round six was to that date the most important. Driving our ride from that dead end reverse was something we had to do. You know when folks protest, it's not because they want to make more violence than there is already. No, it's because deep down, they're really unsatisfied with something that's currently not under their control. And my friend, it somehow always comes down to justice and liberty. At round six, we were globally fighting a tag team of two opponents, a now worldwide pandemic hitting 10 million cases and tag team partner, ourselves. We were mid-year afraid, disoriented, lost, almost in knockdown, ready to throw in the towel. Saved by the bell. Life is never easy growing up. They tell you stories, tales, and legends of heroes until you come to realize the only hero comes from within. California needed some. What was a couple of months ago for far away came to the very backyard and turned up the heat. Spreading rapidly once again a disaster in the making. The heroes, they showed up, and they showed their faces. We knew it wouldn't be long until this round was ours. But there we were, five more to go. Strength isn't measured by how hard you can land a blow, but by how hard you get back up swinging after getting put to the ground. And we went down hard. Beirut, death toll 200, 6,000 injured. What was built for decades, everything 
wiped within seconds. Life started counting on us and we weren't ready to get up. We continued worldwide with protests, felt we were giving it our all, but just couldn't pull through. Hope is what we had left. We got to decide what kind of kings and queens we were gonna be. And Chadwick, Wakanda forever. Round nine fatigued us so much. The globe got shook once again. Nagorno-Karabakh this time, claiming multiple casualties. We once again proved that, on our own, we were our own enemy. And it was not only the virus. The virus cases came to a new tragic record, striking one million of death toll. At the last seconds of this round, we were tired. Tired of these events, tired of the year. We were tired and nervous for not knowing if we could pull through. But we had to. By the time we hit October, all of our sweat, tears, and blood were much on spread wide. Our only questions were, how much more and what next? By now, we weren't even counting total cases, which surpassed 25 million. More cases than any average world country. We were at 500,000 per day. Getting through, we calmed a whole month up until the last couple of days when night came. The electricity went out and our only guide was a candle to lead the way. Turkey witnessed a striking 7.0 magnitude quake. France and England turned into lockdown again. And who was once known as history's most famous, 007, was taken by the hand of God, Sean Connery. Coming down these floors, you can see what you passed. When you look back, you see what you've accomplished and you know what you can go through. Like the previous wasn't enough, life put us through another challenge. Mother Nature took 255 souls, showing us once more that it shouldn't be taken for granted. Cases passed already 50 million, leaving us in wonder if there was ever going to be an end to this. The elections to come left us to know that we must never watch from the shadows, and that we should work to be an example of how to treat one another. When God decides it's time, He will come for us. The hand that was once given by God was due by the last seconds of the round. El Grande Pibe, Maradona, was once a hero, and heroes come and they go, leaving us but staying in our memories by the words they said, the deeds they did. Once they leave, they are no longer heroes. They become legends and continue to live eternally. Ground floor, we hit rock bottom. But remember, we were already here. This is where we started, where we were born, made. What made us for who we are today. With all the good, the tragic, The frightening and the joy, we still got up to knock the shit out of this year. We survived to tell a story yet another year, because that's who we are. United and together, we stand stronger. <laughs>